So let's have a, have a look at how we can analyze the host and network parts of an IPv6 network address. OK, so this shows an example. So we might have a network address such as this. So we translate that into its binary format. It ends up like this. And then we'll take our subnet mask. So we can see here 255 is this, 255, 255. And then 192 is a 1 and a 1 and all zeros there. So we end up with that. So to find the network part, we take all the parts which have a 1 and we allow the bits to come through. So here, here, and here. The bits have just came straight through from, from there. Then over here, for this part, we'll take whatever's here and place it there. And then all the other bits will be zeroed, no matter what they are. So the address we end up with is 169, 159, 189 and then dot zero. If we now take the host part, we take the subnet mask and we invert it. So this time these are all blanked out and become zeros. We then take the bits here and then they will come through and this gives us our network part, our host part. Okay, so we can have a network address and our we have our host address and we have our network address. This part is the network address, this part is the host, and it's a subnet mask which is differentiating the two. Okay, so let's have a look at some challenges. So the first thing we'll do is that we'll have a look at our address calculator. So hopefully this will allow us to be able to, to put in an IP address. and then it should analyze it for us. So then we'll bring up a, one of our challenges and we'll take this one here. Okay, so here is our network address. So what we'll do is we'll try that one. This is our IP address and then this is our subnet mask. So it looks like only the last four bits are going to be used for the host. Okay, so then we'll analyze. I can see here that we have a class A address, as we can see from there. The network part. Okay, so here we are. We take all these bits from here, and then this comes through here the network part and then the host part is only the last four bits here which is this part so we can see our network part is that and our host part is that so let's go back to the question so it's asking us for the network part network part ends with slot 64 so it's that one okay so this one is also looking for the network part and We'll take that part. Analyze that one. Okay, so we can see here there's the subnet mask. 224 takes us to the first three bits here. So the bits that come through for the network part is this bit, and then the other bits are for the host part. So it's dot 32 is the answer. Okay, so this one. This is our long network part. Right to the very end. 254 is just one short of 255. So we can see here it's only one bit is used for the host. <laughs> Might not be useful. So all this will come through. So we're only knocking the last bit off. So in this case it's 218 is our answer. And we'll just try this one. So 
So in this case, uh, we're using all these bits for the network part. That takes us to about there. And then we'll blank off all these other bits. So we end up with this. And this is a host part. So we're after the network part. So it's 80.0, which is that one. And there we go. We've got four correct. OK, so this has shown how we calculate the network part and the host part of the address.